The Harlem Valley Psychiatric Center opened in the 1920s and closed in 1994. I first came here when I was location scouting for a hole-in-one. When I look at these buildings and the beauty of the surrounding area, I'm reminded that in the 1920s the treatment and care of the mentally ill would have largely consisted of designing these buildings and deciding where to locate them. This is perhaps the oldest building of the center. In 1966, it was connected by this very modern looking crosswalk to a medical facility. The new building was the last major construction undertaken at the center before it was closed 18 years later. It is as if the older forms of treatment were being symbolically linked by this bridge to the newly ascended paradigm of treatment. This new paradigm measures progress by an increasing erasure of the distinction between the treatments of mental and physical illness. This is the front sign of the medical facility. Although I can't find any evidence that lobotomies were performed here, I can only imagine how afraid some of the patients must have been when they saw this sign in front of the building that sits on a hillside dominating the surrounding area. We had to drive through this golf course to get to the cemetery. On this course, patients at the center had once upon a time caddied for the doctors. The person showing me around said no one ever went to see the cemetery, but I insisted on her showing it to me. The first thing you see as you approach the cemetery is this gate. These are the graves of people who died as patients at the psychiatric center. Reportedly so as to protect the reputations of the families, each one is marked only by a number. The hospital kept a list matching these numbers to the names of deceased patients, but that list has been lost. This was once a common practice at psychiatric facilities in the United States, and apparently most of these lists have also been lost. What appeared to be the earliest grave had only a wooden marker. This one carried a metal plaque marked Jew. Some of the other graves stood out as well. On the day we returned to take these pictures, we were able to see the medical surgical building through the woods behind the cemetery. This is where I got the idea for the cemetery in a hole-in-one. 